Hi, my name is Joe with Line 6 and today we're here at Unique Squared and we're going to talk to you about the Amplify line of products. Let's start out by showing you how to install the Amplify Remote app. So essentially you just go into the App Store, you type Line 6 in the search and you'll be able to see all the software and apps that Line 6 has to offer and among them is the Amplify Remote app. So you download it for free and then uh, next, next step in the process is to make sure that your your iDevice is paired with the amplifier. So first thing that you do is you go into your settings, into your Bluetooth settings. Uh, then you press down on the Bluetooth pairing button on the top portion of the amplifier. And as soon as it starts pulsing rapidly, uh, it should appear in your Bluetooth listing. So you select it. And once it says connected, the two devices are paired and then you're able to start the app. There we go. All right. Then you just open up Amplify Remote and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, you'll know you're paired properly if here you see Amplify 150 and it says connected. At which point you can look at um, all the tones that are stored in, in the amplifier. As a discerning guitarist, you have the ability to go into edit mode and edit the attributes of the amplifier. So right now, we're actually playing a model of a 1992 Marshall JCM 900. But as a user, you can go in there and experiment with any of the other British amps that we have, as you can see. Uh, or go into type, and you have four different other types you can choose from. High gain, which features amp models from uh, Soldano, Ingle, Diesel, um, Mesa Boogie, etc. You also can go into the American amps where you have your twins, deluxes, reverbs, uh, and, and other models that you can see there. You even have the option of going clean. There are some amp models there for acoustic guitar, for example. Um, no matter what you choose, you can also go in there and edit the attributes individually, uh, depending on the amp model that you choose. So you have drive, bass, mid-treble, etc. You can even edit the cab. Let's say you want to try, uh, you know, that JCM 900 through a 412 with V30s, you can do it uh, 412 with T75s or try a, um, you know, a rectifier cab, uh, all allowing you pretty much any type of editing capability that you want. You could experiment with you know, pedals like the TS9 or the Fuzz Pi. All of these pedals look very familiar because they're actual real world emulations of boutique pedals, the most popular boutique pedals. You can go in there and edit, uh, maybe add a a mod pedal if you'd like from any one of the pedals that we've modeled. Essentially putting eight different processes in a tone stack and then you can save the preset and this is where you store all the metadata and that's what Amplify Remote uses to match up tones with songs. So whatever metadata is in the music that you play from your playlist, it matches it up with the metadata on the tone. So from here you could either save it to the My Tones folder, or you can, after you've saved it, you can share it with the Tone Cloud so anybody in the world could use the tone that you've edited and they can rate it uh, or use it for their own purposes as well. Amplify Remote uh, allows you to store all of your favorite tones in the My Tones folder. So for example, here I have over 50 tones that I've uh, swiped using the Amplify Remote app. So then you can program the tones into one of four slots that are on the hardware and then you can take the amplifier to your gig and use either one of the FBV pedals, the Express or the Shortboard, to switch between tones on the hardware. And the way you do that is you go into My Tones folder, you can choose a sound, let's say in this case you want a, you know, old classic Metallica here. So. Now what you can do is hit the save to hardware and what you're looking at here are the four tones that are currently stored in the hardware. They're the four tones that come pre uh, uh, preset from factory. So you can take that Enter Sandman tone and say you want to put it on um, preset A. You hit done and what it does is it stores it into the amplifier so now you can just get rid of the app and have all your four tones stored here and take them to your, your gig. All right? Another thing, other features that the Amplify Remote gives you is a tuner. You also have level controls. So if you're using the iPad on stage, for example, and you don't want to have to go back to the hardware, uh, you can control the, the volume. Or you can control the overall mix or the guitar in relation to the overall mix.
For more information on the Amplify line of products, check out line6.com. You are watching uniquesquared.com.